morning, everybody. It is November 24th, Wednesday. I'm excited because today is our clubhouse, uh, and uh, I've missed this. I'm about a week behind now because of the tour, so it's going to be real fun just to see everybody and catch up again and uh, see what everyone's been up to. As for my truck, uh, one of the pulleys, the, the, the belt on, on my truck runs everything. Um, it's like you used to have a fan belt that just ran the, the fan for cooling. Now the belts run everything from power st power steering to water pump, all all the things. Well, one of the one of the wheels in in spun a bearing and it froze, so the belt wasn't able to turn that. So it just kept heating up and heating up, and it finally broke and wrapped itself all around everything. But thank goodness I got it to the mechanic and. Um, he put a new belt on it and did a bunch of other work for me, but uh, nothing was damaged uh, when the, you know, I was worried when the heat gauge on it and it pegged and everything. But I was out, he fixed it yesterday and I was out driving and everything's fine. So I'm, I'm grateful of that. Uh, John Rosema is a blessing. He's one of the best mechanics I know and always takes care of things for me when I need it. Um, so thank you, John. Um, I got a bunch of stuff to do. I'm, I came back. I've got a ton of orders for books and T-shirts and art that came up during the course of the tour. And I, yesterday, I started to went to print labels, and it's not I can't print labels. So I'm I'm calling uh, in about an hour. I'm talking to the uh, to Laura who set up the website, and I think there's a, a something has gone on with the post office because the printer works between my computer but for some reason it's not showing labels so something's gone wrong but there's so much gone wrong with the post office at this point that god knows what it is so i'm going to have um troubleshoot it with her and then i have to get the truck in and get it smogged and then i have the live stream and um and then it's some recording to do um, that i wasn't able to get to yesterday so a busy day ahead but once again, I'm digging archivally into all this stuff I've worked on over the years, and I found another project that I <laughs> had disappeared into the uh, to the primordial ooze of my gray matter. <laughs> so I'm going to visit uh, this, take my glasses off so I can read my copious notes I just put together. Uh, this artist, um, his name is Tim Moore. And we did an album called White Shadows back in 1990, uh, 1977. Apparently, uh, Tim did four albums uh, during the 70s. And uh, he had, his work was really uh, admired by other really great artists of the time, from James Taylor and Jimmy Webb and Keith Richards and Michael McDonald. I mean, they were, they were all uh, fans of, of Tim's work. And... Uh, there's some stuff in here. The first band Tim had, uh, one of the members of the group was Todd Rundgren. So this all goes way back. This album was produced by Michael J. Jackson. I did a number of many, many projects like Paul Williams and stuff with Michael. He always had to keep the J in because, you know, can't have two Michael Jacksons floating around like that. So it was Michael J. Jackson. And the project was engineered by John Haney, who I worked with many, many times. And we recorded at Sunset Sound and Cherokee Studios. David Campbell did the strings on it. These names, I mean, they keep reappearing because we were really, um, it was a, a team in town that did kind of like the Wrecking Crew. We did so much of the work here. It was mixed by Greg Ladani and Dennis Kirk at the Sound Factory. Um, and that again, you know, Greg and Dennis, uh, we did so many projects together and, um, he's still an active songwriter and author. Um, and his songs have been covered. I wrote it down here by artists as diverse as Art Garfunkel, Etta James, Cher, Cliff Richards, the Bay City Rollers, Richie Havens, Jimmy Witherspoon, and Nigel Olson. So it's a, it's a, it's an interesting, uh, lineup with him. And uh, so I'm going to play a couple of songs here just to show you what Tim Moore was about. And you can investigate him farther if you are intrigued by this. Um, uh, the first one I'm going to play is called The Devil Inside My Heart. 
and it's myself on bass, Jeff Picaro on drums, Craig Durge on piano, Fred Tackett on acoustic guitar. It was great when we were getting back uh, from the uh, immediate family trip. Um, we were, Waddy and I were, and Russ were standing there waiting for our bags, and we looked at the next baggage claim uh, thing, and uh, there's Fred Tackett standing there. <laughs> so he was coming back. Um, was, so it's also uh, Tim Moore and Fred Tackett on acoustic and electric guitars. Um, Mike Utley on organ, who I did all the early Chris and Rita stuff with, and he's been the MD for Jimmy Buffett for years. And Michael McDonald, Rosemary Butler, John Townsend, and Tim Moore are the background singers on this. Not a bad lineup. So here we go, The Devil Inside My Heart.
that was inside my heart. It's funny, when we were just gigging back, somebody came up and handed me this uh, picture. They said, oh, look at this one. <laughs> Probably in 1970, late 70s. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like a negative of that, like, you know, black and white. It's always weird when you find these old pictures and you go, oh, wow, wow, this is pretty far out. Okay, here's one. It's called um, I Got Lost Tonight. Uh, again, this is myself and Jeff Picaro on drums, Tim Moore on electric guitar, Tim and Fred Tackett on acoustic guitars, Craig Berge on piano, Bobby Hall on percussion in the background. Singers on this one are Michael McDonald, Rosemary Butler, John Townsend, and Tim Moore. Um, also, when we were at the airport, I meant to mention also, and I saw Fred Tackett, also saw Kenny Gradney, the bass player with Little Feet. Um, so they're out working which is great. I think they were coming in from Boston. I think they're, they said they were coming in from Boston, but it was great to see them again. And on the cruise in February, uh, Little Feet's going to be on it, so we'll get a chance to actually hang together. It's going to be a real fun thing. I know so many of the bands, and I've worked with so many people that are going to be on that ship. It's going to be a pretty cool time to, uh, to hang out. So here we go. I got lost tonight.
Again, that's an old Frankenstein on that. It's amazing. What a workhorse. Uh, last song here is called It's Your Life, and it's myself and Jeff Picaro, Fred Tackett on acoustic guitar, uh, Tim Moore on electric piano and electric guitar, Billy Payne on synth, Bobby Hall on percussion, and Tom Snow, Rene Armand, and John Townsend on background vocals. I just found an album I did uh, just before starting this with Rene Armand. I think maybe I'll uh, do that one tomorrow on here. But here it is. This is called It's Your Life. Not, not It's Your Thing. This is It's Your Life. <laughs> Shadows from 1977. It's, it's, it's really interesting for me going back into these way back adventures and hearing all this stuff that uh, we did back in the day, and especially just seeing the names of everybody and realizing how much we all worked together during that period. The names are so consistent throughout all these recording that came out of Los Angeles. So, um, so I'm going to get running now because I've got a 
uh, I'm going to upload this and then figure out what's going on with the post office and why I'm not able to print my labels right now because I really want to get all this out, especially with the holidays coming up. Uh, it's, it's critical. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to wish everybody a great day. I will see whoever's uh, in the clubhouse that's coming today. I will see you all this afternoon, and I really look forward to that. And uh, again, a shout out. Numbers are, are starting to escalate again as we enter winter and the holidays. So be careful. Get vaccinated. Get this, get this behind us. This is just madness. Some, there are now so many hospitals once again maxed out. And they're talking about people coming in that have had heart attacks and stuff that can't be treated because the beds are all full of COVID patients. It's just unnecessary. It doesn't have to be this way. So um, just, just take, care, take care of things. Think about the community. Now, it's not all about oneself. It's about the world we live in and the people we share it with. So I'm going to get going. I'll see some of you this afternoon. And otherwise, I will be back tomorrow. And maybe I'll visit Rene Armand then. So take good care. I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.